Hello then. Um, yeah, fair few beers to uh, kind of go through. I was waiting on one box and it finally got here about half an hour ago, something like that. Um, probably a few of you might be expecting this one already because uh, a good friend Rob from Hot Team done an unboxing earlier. Um, I actually ordered this on Friday, so don't know what the deal is there. I guess they just done everything on the Monday. Um, anyway, um, so we'll leave that for now because you probably may have an idea of what all that is, but we'll go into that after. Um, but a few beers before what I ordered uh, from on Friday. Um, I've actually had these beers a fair while, but at another location, because it's just like logistics being in, mate's got them. Anyway, um, so we start, I think we're going to start with the, the beers on the floor here. Um, so there's the six beers, well, five beers, one I've already reviewed, actually. Um, but it was just put in the box, so um, so I may as well just go ahead and show you anyway. I've still got two in the fridge anyway. So, uh, so from the Gads Brewery, the Ramsgate Brewery, then this is the uh, High Tide Triple Kentish Triple. Um, as I said, I've already reviewed it before. Uh, this one's coming in at seven percent ABV, um, so it's just so I've got three now basically. So that's not really kind of new. Um, what's been fairly new? Um, about a month, I reckon about a month it's been around. Um, they've done a, a an East Kent Pilsner, locally lagered beer with East Kent Golden Hops. So I thought that was quite interesting. Um, seeing how this goes, I've heard some good things about it. Um, so this one is coming in at... Seven, oh, sorry, four points. Yes, imagine that. Seven point four, four point seven percent ABV. Um, so a noble East Kent or East Kent Goldings hot pilsner. Then, so for that, would be quite interesting to give a, a little review over. Um, see how that pans out. Um, a beer that I've reviewed years ago, but I haven't gone back to it. Um, I've had it since, but not obviously reviewed it since. Because um, we're we're about six years now, um, the channel's been going. Um, well, the first of July will be um, six years when I first posted my the first review and all that sort of cringe-worthy stuff. Um, so this is their number three. Um, it's a it's a what do you call it? A um, well, it's saying a premium pale ale. Um, so an English pale ale, basically. Um, with Goldings, East Kent Golding Swaps, so 5% ABV, one of their core range beers, um, 500 ml bottle, brown bottle, of course, and um, yeah, it's won awards this beer, uh, the uh, the Kent, Taste of Kent Awards, I believe, don't know what year, I can't remember. Right, now then, we have three um, mixed firm beers uh free uh, 750 mils this is i still dream of apricots five percent abv the light is it is what it is there we go um now i wasn't around for this uh, release i was i was away in london that weekend but my good friend uh simon who just lives up the road he he he, he sorts me out with with bits and bats if he's somewhere where the event's taking place He'll pick me up a bottle generally. Um, so, really do appreciate it, Simon, as always. Um, so, I've had the original one of this dream. Uh, I can't. I, I dream of apricots. So, this is I still dream of apricots. So, they've done a, a, a you know, a different kind of batch then of this. Um, just trying to see if there's any information about this one here. There's a lot of generic kind of writing on the side of the bottle. I thought it might actually go into what this beer is kind of about. But that's going to be interesting. 5% ABV. Um, with, with a fruited um, beer like this, I want to drink it fairly. You know, it's got until 2024, but I reckon any kind of fruit, etc., of this beer will be uh, faded by then. So we put that back down there. Uh, 
So another one, I think it's just uh, where it's been in and out of the fridges a few times. Is it the old? Uh, there's a bit of kind of damage to the label, which I'm not like, fussed about. So this is their cherry uh, number nineteen. So the ingredients then: water, malted barley, malted wheat, Kentish hops, Kentish cherries, Kentish wild yeast, and thyme. Lots of it. Um, again, September of 2021 is the best before. A bit of damage to the top of the label. But it's not a problem really. So, um, so yeah, another fruited beer. I imagine the apricot ones. Here, let's have a look. There we go. So, yeah, malty barley, malty wheat, uh, water, Kentish hops, Kentish apricots, Kentish wild yeast, and thyme, and lots of it. It's the same thing. So, uh, so, yeah, that's for the uh, I Still Dream of Apricots. And lastly, uh, this is their Greenage Summer 5% ABV. Uh, there we go. Just about see it in this light. Um so water, multi barley, multi wheat, Kentish hops, Kentish greenage plums, Kentish wild yeast, and lots of time, same kind of thing. Um, so it's another 750 mil. So it's three 750 mil bottles there uh, from a local brewery. So and they've, they've, they've got this little project going on where they've got this sort of stuff, which is really cool. Um, we've got, we did have Thomas saying hello just now. Um, hello, Thomas. Hope you're keeping well, mate. If you watch it back right so that's the first brewery so the second brewery we'll go into this is um when my good friend drops these beers round free breweries round he threw these in so um i wasn't expecting these so from seven brothers brewing co they're out of salford in uh, manchester this is their easy ipa uh 4.7 percent abv that is actually green believe it or not it looks kind of bluish but it is green there we go you see it green there so seven brothers easy ipa don't know what sort of uh hops are in this it doesn't really specify that much um so it says this ipa lands that spot between a pale ale and a fruity bitter it makes it stand apart so interesting one uh we've got till march on the back of that which is cool. Uh, so same brewery, juicy IPA from Seven Brothers, six percent ABV. That is yellow and purple. Um, again, it doesn't really give you any kind of uh, a hazy, hoppy, fruity IPA brewed with oats, torrified wheat for a full-bodied and residual sweetness, then a dry hop of tropical stone fruit and citrus aromas. Again, no. It might there might be some more information on untap when i come to do a review if i come to do a review i might not even do it we'll see but um again they're out of uh, seven brothers um and this is their honeycomb honeycomb pale ale then it's quite an interesting one it's classed as an english pale ale on untapped when i had a little look so what's all this about meet our sweetest beer the perfectly balanced pale ale with carefully selected hops infused with this essence of honeycomb creating this extremely moorish unique pale ale i'd say uh, sevenbrothers.com's website incidentally all the information for these breweries is down below um, all their social media web shop and all that sort of carry on um so yeah, I think I've only had one Seven Brothers beer before, and I don't even know if I reviewed it. I can't remember. Um, so from the same guys, then this is a five point five percent sling it out stout. Bit of a flashy can. I'm trying to tilt it so because of this light, otherwise you just can't see all that sort of stuff. So a chocolate stout brewed with upcycled Kellogg's cocoa pops provided as part of their sustainability program uh, base malt chocolate malt and caramel malt make up the core of this delicious sweet stout 5.5 percent abv um, so it's two two four forties and two three thirties from the same brewery so that'd be interesting to see what they're all about um i've heard about this, this kind of like a They've done a serial series um, quite a while back. So, whether I view these all these or not, I'm not, you know, sometimes they 
um, escaped getting reviewed when I've had a few beers before. I'm like, just fancy another beer or on a live stream or whatever. And it just, and that's that. Right. So from Manchester, now we're going to head down to London. Um, and Spatch and Hob Day. Um, I reviewed their American Brown about, I don't know, two months ago, six weeks ago. I can't remember when I was in London. Um, so these originally were in um, Bermondsey, um, and I think they've relocated to Croydon now in London. So, uh, so yeah, I've only reviewed one of their beers. So this is this will be. Um, I think there's a little bit more of their core range stuff here. So going forward, um, we'll see. Anyway, this is the the pale because all of their beers are the whatever style it is. So here we go, the pale ale. Quite nice artwork going on there. Some some old boy playing cricket, I guess. Um, just goes into pale ales, blah, 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 blah. Date back to the 1700s, uh, the innovation. Not really much information there. Uh, malt, extra pale, marisol, to carapils and wheat. Flake barley, hops are citra, mosaic, and simcoe. Yeast is US05. Um, and that's it. I imagine this is fairly fresh because it's got the best before the 10th of June of 2022. So I'd imagine it's been in the can a few weeks. Um, incidentally, we, I did actually, these these are what I wanted from from my good mate. We, we split a case of, the, of these beers, um, I think. Um, so, yeah, I was always, they're on my radar. It was a really decent value. I think it worked out about £12 something or other for six cans. Um so this one is the table beer, um, same brewery, of course. What's the ABVs? This is obviously 2.7%, as are most table beers, around 2.5 to 3% kind of mark. Um, goes into all sorts of uh, our blend of just uh, H. America, so I'm just trying to see if there's any other information. In oh, here we go. So, malt, extra pale, maris, otter, pilsner, flaked oats, and chit. Not, not, not too uh, familiar with that. Um, the hops then are Halatau Blanc and Jester. Uh, US05 again is the yeast. So, again, different kind of looking can. Quite interesting. As I said, all of their things are the at the beginning of these beers so this is their the wheat the table wheat i don't know what that is call it wheat the wheat really but that is actually dark green it's looking black on the screen it shows you the light um so this is 3.7 percent uh extra pale maris otter wheat chit again and uh munich hops are mandarina bavaria and amarillo the yeast is Oh, here we go. What's that? Late, late, Limand Munich Classic. It's a new one on me. I'm probably not even pronouncing it right. Um, again, 24th of May of 2022, so relatively fresh. So I'm going to be drinking that during this summer for sure at some point. Check out the artwork. It's pretty cool. If you can see it. Got the old dog there. A couple of guys looks like going on a hike or something. A walking stick and that backpack. Interesting. Right. Next up is the sour dry hop. Um, kind of like that. That's pretty cool. There's the uh, the beer name. She's uh, she's rocking it with her hat on there and. Um, violin it's pretty cool um so in this then it's a 4.9 percent then dry hop sour uh, extra pale maris otter wheat carapils and the hops in this are citra uh uso5 and lactobacillus is the yeast in this one then so an interesting one um that's cool um two more here that i'll probably leave off I've got a fair few beers, as you can see, for the moment. Um, I'll probably leave off these until a bit later in the year, but the first four I'll be 
sure to get on fairly soon. So this is the porter. Sorry about the background noise. It's quite warm. Uh, so what we got on here? What's he doing? Looks like he's taking a selfie or something. I assume. Different times past, I would imagine, the modern day and um, back in the day. So what we've got here then? Uh, so it's a six point seven percent the porter or English porter, I would imagine. Um, extra maris otter. Uh, chocolate and amber and black malts, uh, Cascade and East Kent Goldings, USO5 to the yeast. Interesting. Um, Cascade hops in an English porter. Okay. There you go. They're all very similar looking cans, the, these guys do. Um, and this is the Crown, the Crowd Thunder Stout. Um, they done a um, in 2018. They done a crowd funder thing, and they put everyone's name pretty much on the side of the can, which is pretty cool. I kind of lost heart with crowdfunding. When I, I done one crowdfunding, and the company went bust, so I've, that's done. Um, I'm done done with it now, I'm afraid. But um, you do get your, your perks if, even if you put a bit of money in, I guess. But yeah, there's a whole host of there of names, hundreds of names, and then underneath all of that, you can just about see some artwork that's very similar to what the cans are generally about. Sorry about the noise; it's terrible. I'm actually going to shut it because it's not going to shut up. There we go. Shut it. Right. Um, what do we get into here? The ABV I was trying to look for. I think it's eight percent. Yeah, eight percent ABV. God, I can hardly read that. There's a bit more of the. Uh, you see all that underneath all the names. Pretty cool. So, so extra uh, pale Maris Otter Chit Mu oh, God. Munich Munich Two Chocolate Cara Gold and Cara Free. There's a lot of malts in there. And the hops are Summit. Columbus, Nelson Solvin, and Mosaic. And the, the yeast is USO5. Barely see that. But yeah, that's interesting. So that's that's going to be definitely one for the autumn, I would imagine. Um, cool. Right. Let me catch up with some comments then. Uh, we've got the lovely Jules saying hello there. Hope you're keeping well uh, and all that good stuff. You like my sours? Yeah. Um, it's going to be an interesting one that i mean i will be trying that and i do i'm really rocking the uh the label on that one a violin and a she's playing the old guitar there it's pretty cool so that's that's decent right so kind of they've been around for a while this box just turned up uh, an hour ago uh, get it right way around newtown park so very went there a couple of weeks ago um kind of done a surprise visit uh well two, two of the guys didn't know i was coming um we had a great time i just rolled up and was like how you doing so that's pretty cool uh in bristol um it was rob's uh birthday weekend rob from uh hot Zine, of course so I, was, I just strolled up a couple of the guys knew i was going and uh yeah so this was more um we were going to go there on the saturday but it was absolutely packed out so we ended up um not going until the sunday which unfortunately a couple of the guys left by then there's just a, an order sheet uh interesting to try and pronounce one or two of these beers but you know what i'm like Anyway, so we got there. We've got put that one down that side. So you see it. There we go. We got the beers in now. So we've got eight, nine, ten, eleven beers in a glass. So what we got here, and we'll do them in order. Um, 
I had a few of these beers when I was down in the tap room. So that one's there. So that can go over there. Um, where is it? It's driving me up the wall there. No, I thought I got, perhaps I got three. All right. I can't remember even what I've ordered, that's the thing. Yeah, I did get four, I thought I got four. Right, there we go, all day long. Um, table beer, 3% ABV. I actually had this at the tap room, thought it was really nice. A few more comments, so I'll get to you in a second. Um, all day long. Yeah. It was really nice. Uh, so this one, Centennial and Citra in this uh, beer. Uh, all day long table beer. We've made something that will uh, something that, that will let the malt bill and hops shine. A sensible, light, sensible. Yeah, light. Crisp beer with grapefruit and pine notes. Um, yeah, I, that's the first beer I went on the Sunday for obvious reasons. Was it second beer? Second beer I had. First beer there. Um, I was just kind of easing myself into the second day of shenanigans. And uh, so, yeah, looking forward to that. Did I get two of those? Yeah, I've got two of those. So, very nice. Very nice. Let me just make some room over Heather. Right, uh, got that one. so that one can go there, so that's the two new ones, it's good because I've got a couple of new beers out, so there's the two double up here. Right, so Come Alive, Pale Ale, 4.2% ABV, I had that down there as well, Citra, Mosaic and Tiku. Multica, get it right? Multica? Yeah, Teku is a fucking glass. Um, this sunny and fruity pale ale is citrus and stone fruit aroma, flavours of mango and pineapple, with a note of freshly cut grass, a soft mouthfeel with a delicate touch of honey, and malt that make the tropical flavours come alive. There you go. Rounded that one up nicely with the name. But yeah, that was really damn good beer. Um, I've got more into the pale pale owls lately so uh right we do the new beers um and yeah, apparently when we was down there the conversation uh, this was mentioned i only remember one of the beers which would be the last one that i show you this is yelling at in oh, i can't pronounce it um in 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 an animate animate object, objects there we go so it's a 3.9 Hello. Um, got in here. Talus, Citra, and Azaka. So barley and wheat. Oats are in this one, so it's going to be a hazy pale type of thing. Um, but yeah, nice looking can. Really impressed with this brewery because um, I'd heard, first heard about this brewery earlier in the year um, when we were still in lockdown and stuff, and they were getting them in over. Um, the good shed in Canterbury. I was like, oh, and there's a few few of the people I know that pretty much go over there every week getting loads of stuff, saying these guys are really damn good. So that was my first kind of uh, notification, if you like, for, for this fairly new brewery. Um, um, and they've got basically their the old kit from Left Handed Giant, the brewing kit, and they're literally round the corner from Left Handed Giant um where we went and i was like i didn't realize i was so close until i went i was like oh that's really interesting because i really wanted to try out some of their beers um so yeah i'm i'm all i'm all for trying new stuff like i've said i've had a, i've had two two of their beers three of their beers already or actually a fair few actually we had quite a lot that day so this is a new one, their Newtown Park. This is their Garden of Your Mind Saison, 5.8% ABV. I was quite intrigued by that. Nice looking can then. So in this, we've got SARS and Shirazi Ace, uh, barley, wheat, and rye as well. So a farmhouse style beer, 
brewed with lemon zest and coriander seed. It may not have been brewed on a farm, but our saison has a story of being brewed by friends in a garden shed and now flourishing from its humble home brewing beginnings. So there you go, like most breweries these days, um, home brewing. Uh, and there you go, they've got their own brewery now. So that's really interesting looking beer. Did I give, give the information for the... Yeah, I did. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Right, now we get to the double IPAs. I don't know if I had this or not. I can't remember, to be honest. Emerging from the mist. Um, uh, uh, um, no, I didn't. I thought I had. I think I saw it there. I didn't, didn't have that one. I think I had a bunch of verdant beers because they, they'd actually share the tap room. I think they got in with them, a bit like the experiment in London. Um, so this is Newtown Park Verdant Collab emerging from the Mist Double IPA, 8% ABV. Um, these guys were in the fridge. So beers, beers, hops in this then, Citra, Strata, Idaho 7 and Sabro. So you've got Strata and Sabro in the same beer. Holy shit. Uh, barley, wheat and oats. So... Emerging from the Miss Double IPA, we've brewed this New England Double IPA with uh, uh, with heaps of flaked and malted uh, oats, uh, making for a creamy and pillowy mouthfeel. Intensity dry hot. It has an incredibly soft finish with a res residual sweetness, tropical fruits, ripe mango, juicy oranges, and the oh, what's that fucking word? Um, I'm just I'm going to skip it and say dankness at the end. A clap of our friends at Verdant to celebrate our new joint tap room in Bristol. So, very nice. Very nice. This one we did have, the Harry Ball. Um, so, this is a collab with their neighbours, left handed giant in Bristol, just, just literally around the corner. This is their level up double IPA, 8% ABV. Uh, we've got here uh, level up double IPA, a big. A big hitting double IPA with masses of tropical fruit, pina colada, uh, cotton candy, green melon, and mango. Perfectly balanced with resinous back note and a hint of pepper from the laurel. Uh, brewed in collaboration with our buddies at Left Hand Giant after buying their old kit. There you go. Um, it seemed only fitting that our first double IPA double IPA double should be brewed with them. Uh, Mosaic, Eldorado, and Laurel, the hops then, uh, and also barley, wheat, and oats. Pretty cool. There you go. Level up. Double IPA. If I do that, though, you can't see shit. So I've got to tilt it at this time of day. Right then. The main reason for this is obviously I wanted to review some of these beers. Um, but they, they also, while we were there, Harry got talking to um, what turned out to be the main guy there. Really nice chap. I can't remember his name. Um, got it. I think we were talking about. Um, a certain hop variety. Anyway, you come back about five minutes later, and you come out with like there was there was me, Harry, Rob from Hop Z, Blue Nose Beer Reviews, Harry and uh, Rob's lady. We're all sitting there, and you come out with this straight out of the tank. This beer, and we tried it, and I was like, holy shit, because this will be canned in two weeks. Here we are, two weeks later. Um, so this is New Town Park collab with Ichu. Um, which, uh, what did it say? Brilliant kind of neighbor of friends. Ichu is a Japanese lager, basically, kin kinjo Japanese lager, five percent ABV. I was really, as soon as I, I tasted this and they said it was out in two weeks, I was like, I'm getting some of this and I'll make an order at the same time. So, um it was damn good. So lightly, uh, hot uh, lightly with a Sirachi Ace and Sars. This rice lager um, has notes of fresh dough, light honey, and freshly brewed jasmine jasmine tea, all with an incredibly refreshing minerality. Brewing, as I said, going into brewing collaboration with their neighbours at Ichu. This Japanese lager is refined, delicate, 
and elementally crushable. Uh, the perfect beer for pairing with Ichu, whatever that is, dish. Um, Sirachi Ace and Sars, as I've said, are the hops. Rice and barley also. So I've got four cans of that. Um, there's talk of a doing a kind of a live... I'm sure this beer will be um, part of a, 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 like a live review type thing on someone's channel. Um, I might actually crack one of these open later after the football and uh, give it a review. But um, I'm not sure when this is going to be taking place um, on whose channel. But I know, obviously, Rob's got his box. Harry's getting his box today. Um, Peter and Adam split a case up in Liverpool. I'm not sure if Jake got any of these or not. Don't know. But um, I'm going away on Friday for the weekend, so I won't be around this weekend. So we'll figure something out. And also, lastly... You know, the old, um, what, what the cool kids do these days, the posh people, and they're Instagramming new money. Got a glass. So, Newtown Park glass. Needs, uh, there's a lot of dust and shit on it, although it's probably, uh, it definitely needs a, a wash, but I probably won't be able to get it, so there's no bubbles on the side as usual, but, but yeah, Newtown Park glass. And that's it. Oh. Rabbit in on there. Felt like James for a minute. Right. Um, got a load of comments, so if you're still here, great. If not, I'm sorry. Um, Did go 34 minutes. Bloody hell. Uh, oh, that's in reference to the beer earlier. I would imagine the sour, was it? Oh, it's buried now. Right. See, I, I don't know. Um... Uh, Intimate objects, yeah. Thought so. Music video. I don't. I don't even know. So there you go. Um. Oh, we got Phil. How you doing, mate? Hope you're keeping well. Uh, get ready for the football. Yeah, big game later, five o'clock. Um. I thought about doing like a watch long, but I. The trouble is, with doing things on live. Someone's going to put the score up someone score before you've seen it yourself and I, I, I don't want that um i'm going to be watching it downstairs and last night i tried to watch i mean there's two amazing games yesterday and uh the, the, i think icv's app was up up the creek it, it kept, for the first three minutes it kept going backwards and looping i think it was just i don't know it's itv in it um but yeah um the beer sound they do. Um, there's a nice spread there of uh, beers. I've never reviewed anything from Newtown Park before. I had one from Hans Spatch Hob Day. Um, local beers, which I mean, I've got a fair few sharing bottles, so I'll probably I'll probably drink and review these um, at various points for the rest of the summer, but. Um, yeah, so that's looking looking forward to it. Uh, Bristol is a it's really good. Bristol is, it, I mean, it's not quite up there with say Manchester or Leeds, but um, they've got some great breweries down there. Um, oh, you had a little. What did you get? I don't know if you uh, said already. Jules, uh, hope you have a wonderful. I'm only going to London. It's like an hour. And, 20 minutes on the train so I've taken my little one to see uh, family and stuff I do that about every two or three weeks these days obviously blah blah because um, it's only fair and, my, and the little one's a nightmare with doing video calls she doesn't want to do them they call out every day and it's like I don't want to do it so it's like for goodness sake um, so yeah cheers Jules for that um so Phil said uh, Fuller's eight bottles of Black Cab Stout for 14. That's not bad. Um, problem is it's not yeah, available in any supermarkets at all now. I didn't know that. It used to be available in, in Asda up the road. Uh, I thought it was a really damn good stout. Um, I know they've got the uh, London Port still in Waitrose. 
um and they this it's weird how there's some of their range um like the esb the 1845 strong ale there in i think sainsbury's but i don't know I, oh, this chair is way out i reckon it keeps dropping i don't like it too low um so yeah cool cheers phil mate hope you're keeping well yeah the sour i thought you was on about that it's kind of like behind and underneath something now but but yeah anyway um trying to keep this as short as possible um i don't know regard what streams are going on later this week i might do something on thursday um but we'll see maybe or maybe tomorrow i might do it something tomorrow for a few hours um because i won't be around on friday saturday or well we get i'll get back home sunday evening but we'll have to wait and see um and i'll let you know so that's the beer hall from today um check out you know, I associate myself with um, the lads. Um, hopefully, they don't do the, the uh, thing this weekend because I'd like to be part of that. Um, but I might review the lager. We might do. We might do. Might do the lager straight away. We'll see. Anyway, four people watching. Cheers very much. Um, you have a good rest of your day. Good evening. And hopefully, England can beat Germany tonight for the first time in since 66 in a tournament so uh, anyway you'll take care thanks for watching then uh check out all the information down below for the four breweries mentioned today um social media outlets their web shop the untapped page etc so you can have a look perusal for yourself <sighs> cheers then take care see you soon oh just before I go, it's just an unboxing. Um, just done four breweries, so uh, you have to watch the rerun. Anyway, cheers, Rasco and Disco. Take care. <laughs>